Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Kelvin here. Robot advisors are becoming more and more popular nowadays. So in this video, I decided to check out OCBC Robot Invest, which is by OCBC. Obviously, I will share my first impression of the platform. How do they help you to invest? What portfolios do they have? What's their pricing? Then I will also share what I like and how I feel OCBC Robot Invest could do better. Before that, quick disclaimer: this video is produced in collaboration with OCBC. But but. You can be rest assured that all the opinions here are entirely my own. The only reason I'm making this video is so that you can understand the platform better. That's all. A quick intro about OCBC RoboInvest. It was started in September 2017. And according to OCBC, they are the first bank in Singapore to launch robot investment services. Here's something interesting. If you go to the website, you'll see a girl staring at you. But that's not what I want to show you. Instead, if you look here, you'll see that it says powered by WeInvest. So this means that OCBC partner with a company called WeInvest to provide robot advisory service. If you check WeInvest website, you will see that it's actually partnered with a few financial institutions. So WeInvest is quite an established player in the market, and it's not your normal play-play only service provider. So here's a few special things about OCBC Robot Invest. First, they have a lot of portfolios, and by a lot, I mean a lot. There's a total of 36 portfolios for you to choose from, and they've continuously updated their portfolios listing with new teams. Second, rebalancing feature. Like many other robot advisors, OCBC RoboInvest also has their own rebalancing algorithm. It will try to maintain the desired asset allocation based on 45 parameters like liquidity, sharp ratio, etc. The basic idea is to sell if the stock's value goes up too fast, aka went to the moon, or buy when the stock has dipped too much, aka buy the dip. They may even suggest to replace if necessary. Rebalancing happens quarterly or every six months depending on the volatility of the portfolio. While many other robot advisors rebalance for you automatically, in OCBC Robot Invest case, it will actually ask you whether you want to accept the rebalancing recommendations or not. If you choose yes, then it be like use must do and do the rebalancing. You can also choose not to accept the rebalancing. Then your existing portfolio is retained without any change. Third, this is a small feature. Every month, OCBC will also send you an email to update on the latest news and latest trends. That's good if you like to keep up to date on performance as well as any new portfolios or features that were launched. So as mentioned earlier, there are altogether 36 portfolios for you to choose from. It's like when you go buy Thai Fund, and there's a lot of dishes for you to choose from. But don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Let me show you. There's two main categories, diversified portfolios and thematic portfolios. For diversified portfolios, they invest in ETFs from four different asset classes, fixed income, equities, commodities, and cash. There are a total of six portfolios, each corresponds to a different level of risk. If you choose the lowest risk portfolio, defensive, the fixed income portion will be the highest. That's because fixed incomes or bonds are usually very steady from PP. They are less volatile and move up and down lesser than equities. If you check the past performance, it's almost a slow and steady line upwards. Then, if you choose the highest risk portfolio, aggressive, the equity portion will be the highest with some fixed income and bonds to cushion the volatility. Because of this, this portfolio will be more volatile. They go up faster, go down faster. But over the long term, it will usually go up because stonks. So that was diversified portfolios. Next, let's take a look at focus teams. Personally, I feel that this is a unique selling point of OCBC RoboInvest because no other robot advisors has so many thematic portfolios. Even Scythe has only 5 thematic portfolios. But here, we have a godlike 30 thematic portfolios for you to choose from, and more are coming soon. You have some usual portfolios like commodities, consumer, financials, healthcare, industrials, tech. Then you also have emerging trends portfolio like electric vehicle, cybersecurity, China growth, future world, Gen Z winners, and so on. Here's an interesting thing. If you check dollar and cents, you can see that some robot advisors only have unit trust in their holdings. Others only have ETFs in their holdings. But OCBC does it a little differently. Their portfolios consist of either individual stocks or ETFs. For example, Gen Z Winners portfolio consists of ETFs, while Electric Vehicle portfolio consists of stocks. When a portfolio consists of stocks, this means that you'll be more concentrated compared to a portfolio of ETFs. If the industry does well, this portfolio will have a higher chance of going to the moon. Also, each portfolio has a different minimum sum to invest, from as low as $100 to be beginner friendly. If you are not sure which to choose, you can scroll down, tap on I need help deciding, then choose your investment amount, risk tolerance, what kinds of rewards are you looking for, and what regions are you interested in. One more thing, even though OCBC RoboInvest has a money investment feature, it's not available in some of the portfolios. Next, let's talk about pricing. For all the portfolios, there's a 0.88% flat fee of the AUM per year, charged to you every month. 
but you don't have to manually pay for it. It's already priced into the returns. If you compare the fee with other robot advisors, you will see that OCBC Robo Invest is not the lowest in the market. So there are a few reasons why someone would choose OCBC Robo Invest. First, some people prefer using a robot advisor that is managed by the bank because it has the same level of security as the bank, so it won't be hacked so easily. Second, it's much more stable financially, meaning it won't suddenly close shop tomorrow. For example, in 2020, Smartly wasn't doing so well and had to close shop. Third, OCBC allows you to invest as low as $100 for their robot advisors. This means you can just take your $100 unbound money and invest with OCBC. Also, OCBC's unique selling point is that it has a lot of thematic portfolios, some of which could possibly let you outperform the market itself. They are continuously investing in research, analytics, and analysis to come up with new themes and strategies. So here's the big question, why should you invest through OCBC Robo Invest? The answer is active management. Because all an ETF does is just tracking the index. If the index goes up 10%, then the ETF will give 10% return. If the index goes down 6%, then the ETF will go down 6%. But in OCBC Robo Invest case, because there's an algorithm behind trying to optimize and rebalance your portfolios, there's a chance to outperform the market. For example, OCBC Robo Invest Stable US Healthcare Giants portfolio gave about 17% 5 years annualized return, while the healthcare select sector only gave 15% return. Or OCBC's US Consumer Giants portfolio gave about 12% return, while the Consumer Stables ETF gave about 9% return. The performance may differ for each portfolio, and past returns doesn't guarantee future performance. But OCBC will improve on the algorithm as time goes by, which will further improve the performance. Last but not least, it's actually super easy to get started with OCBC RoboInvest. While other robot advisors require you to download a separate app and make a transfer from another bank account, which might be super mahafan, in OCBC's case, the robot advisor is right within the app. You can just choose what portfolio you want to invest in, choose the account you want to transfer from, and you are done. So simple. If you have these criteria when choosing a robot advisor, then OCBC Robo Invest will be suitable for you. Here's another interesting question. OCBC partnered with WeInvest to create OCBC Robo Invest. I'm quite sure OCBC won't close shop anytime soon. But what happens if WeInvest close shop? Is it GG law? Just kidding. According to OCBC, the customer's holdings are customized with HSBC and CT. If anything happens to WeInvest, your funds are still safe. OCBC will just find a new provider to continue the robot advisory service. Next, let's talk about what I like about OCBC Robot Invest. First, it lets you invest in a lot of different portfolios. So you have tons of choices to choose from. If you want slow and steady from BP, you can go with the defensive portfolio. Or if you want to invest in electric vehicle sector, but you did not Euro 100% into Tesla like Chicken Genius, then you can invest in the electric vehicle portfolio. Second, it's a bank robot advisor. As mentioned earlier, it comes with extra benefits. It's financially stable, has a bank security, and you can directly access it in your OCBC app or through the website. Third, rebalancing feature. So while other robot advisors be like, ah, I rebalance for you, OCBC be like, sir, do you want to rebalance? This gives you more flexibility just in case you don't want to rebalance. What I feel OCBC Robo Invest could do better. First, their UI is a little lacking. If you open a portfolio, you will see some description, only a past performance, some minor info, and the assets breakdown. It would be better if I could track returns for different periods, the countries, and the sectors breakdown. But with that being said, this is just a small issue. I'm quite sure that OCBC will improve this along the way. Second, their money investment is only for some of the portfolios. This means that if I want a dollar cost average, I will have to manually lock in and transfer the money every month. I would prefer the money investment to be available for every portfolio. But then again, small issue since 11 out of 36 portfolios have the money investment feature. So that was what I like about OCBC Robo Invest and what I think they can improve on. So that was my review of OCBC Robo Invest. Hopefully you find it useful. Will you be using it to invest? Let me know down below. Like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.